Dude, I said 150 meters and you did 50. <laughs> Welcome to Insurgency Sandstorm, an American dating simulator that offers cutting edge romance mechanics such as post traumatic swag disorder and 50 caliber based dialogue. <laughs> Much like most dating sims, it's all about communication and joint surveillance target attack radar systems because one wrong word can bring an intimate relationship to an end. You're in the village. What village? I don't know. Just blow them all up. I don't care. <laughs> With limited taxpayer dollars as your only constraint, you'll need to export as much freedom as possible to places that definitely never asked for. Hospital, <laughs> sounds like another 25 kill streaks of eight. <laughs> Introducing your culture to countries you can't even pronounce is the name of the game. The more aggressive that introduction, the better. It's nice to meet you, but it's even better to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie to you and say it's all sunshine and rainbows because combat contains horrors beyond the comprehension of mortal man. Oh. Is this a taunt? Oh. Are you taunting the enemy team? <laughs> yes. But if you've ever been curious as to where your tax dollars reach their final destination, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Sign up now and join and get your sign on bonus in 10 to 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, style dog! Go! Styled on, styled on, styled on. Our calm in game is so bad. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Gets blown up by an RPG. Yo, Ron, you good, Sly? Oh, right in the ass. Out of Main Street. Oh, God. If I were president, I'd drop mechanical dinosaurs into our cities to test our readiness against existential threats with only two rules. No police, no military. Just to see if the garbage man, the firefighters, the construction workers, and the non-OSHA compliant uncertified forklift operators could kick the shit out of a T-Rex in an emergency. Get that motherfucker! This has nothing to do with insurgency, it's the design of my new shaker cup. Thanks to my sponsor Gamersubs, your prayers have been answered because you guys bullied me the last time I released one two years ago. 16 ounces? What is this, a fucking sippy cup? Is this a goddamn shot glass? This time, it's full size, so you can butt chug 24 whole ounces of my energy drink, guacamole gamer fart 9000 before you need to reload. I mean refill. Gamer fart is the greatest energy drink on this fucking planet. You are smoking crack if you think I'm ever touching monster again. And bang, more like bang crupsy. Gamer fart is superior with no spike in your blood sugar, no crash, a light 100 milligram boost of caffeine, and is cheap as third world country dirt. 36 bucks for 100 servings is 36 cents per scoop. Even if you double scoop like me, it's 72 cents. You can't spare 72 cents a day? Fuck you. Start drinking the future of energy drinks at gamersubs.gg slash badger and use code BADGER for 10% off. We've even got caffeine free. Gamer farts around forever, but the Shaker Cup is super special limited time, and once it's gone, it's gone. So you better be quick. Just like this transition to- Insurgency Sandstorm makes me angry, because the ratio of how incredible it is to how often I hear about it is criminal. Sir, 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 sir. <laughs> <laughs> it is the perfect balance of dumbass lizard brain arcade shit- Observer, this is station. Here's a picture of my nuts. Transmitting now. And hardcore air Airsoft simulator shit. Enemy, man, 300 meters, north, fast, fast, fast. And I cannot believe I've not heard more about this game. Dog, he's got a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he didn't talk. <laughs> He's got a bipod on his 44 <laughs> Magnum yeah. with a red oh dot God. and a suppressor. And I want to tell you why I love it with this awful tutorial that is awful. I don't even know why I'm calling it that. Turn around, dumbass. Right You're going the wrong fucking way. Boot up the game and pick PvP or PvE. Got your ass. They're both super fun, and the only difference, apart from the bots, is how quickly you want to meet Jesus. Why did you pick PvE instead of PvP? My main goal is to blow up. And then what? And then act like I don't know nobody. Is that it? <laughs> I only found the objective. <laughs> <laughs> you have one missed call, Heavenly. <laughs> what the right. fuck was that? PvE, PvP, doesn't matter. I'll keep it dummy simple. Pick your game mode, pick your class, pick your loadout, shoot bad guys. If you can't follow that, you have brain damage. I just started my first shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, my fault. <laughs> Shut the fuck man, up. Man, shut the fuck up, man. Man. Well, if you're watching this video, you definitely have brain damage. Forget it. Push and domination are based. Everything else is cringe. Push is your classic attacker's defenders fighting over a point, and I think it goes without saying that running at the machine gun is far less fun than firing the machine gun. We have people Toasted. Toasted. Got him. Again! But the attackers have enough taxpayer dollars to burn that they can turn that defender's machine gun nest into a, let's say, unpleasant place. Oh, we got bomber drones inbound, boys. I'm not scared. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> probably should be. I don't know, man. You might, you might want to be a little shitted right now. Domination is a total 180. If you go from playing push to playing dom, it's gonna feel like you accidentally walked into a base boosted YouTube poop. God damn it, Bobby! I told you. It's so much better when you cut it off. Cause I know he's running into the room with a deagle. Oh god. Wait, I figured it out. He's throwing flashbangs and doing it. Stop that. Whoa, that was a good one. The map you find yourself on flavors the experience even more. Doesn't matter what game mode you're playing. If you're playing Summit, it's cringe. Doesn't matter what game mode you're playing. If you're playing Prison, it's based. Especially if you hang around A Block. Absolutely cash money every single time. Isn't this where Michelle Obama's from? No. God. Man. Holy shit, this is where Michelle Obama's from. Prison? No, A block. Oh, Isn't I'm Michelle Obama flashback. from like a B block or D block, something like that? No, it's O block. Yeah, she's from O block, block bro. That there is no meme. From. Michelle Obama is from O block. I got the letter wrong, but you know what I mean. What the fuck are you doing down there? I fear no man. It's only totally getting lower than sort of gentrify O block. Classes won't change your experience that much because they're all deadly. Some are just a special kind of deadly. Ouch. Half the eight classes are either riflemen or spicy riflemen, which are basically, look, mom, I have an M16A4 and shoot bad guys with bullets. Bang. He may be basic, but that doesn't make him harmless because even the most bare bones riflemen can smoke your entire squad. I can't kill this guy, chat. I'm out of bounds. I can't. Oh, I just came in bounds. That was perfect timing. If you ask nicely, perfect timing. <laughs> Perfect timing. Demolitions is rivalman with a side of spicy explosives. Got that guy. <laughs> got that guy. Yeah, somebody. Oh, I got We're him, baby. A. And no like splash that. damage. I am a Let god. Go. I am such Let a god. Go. Oh, that's a bad guy. Commander is his rifleman with binoculars, but those binoculars can turn everyone on the map to ash. So you may want to pick somebody that doesn't misclick. So I called an artillery, and I thought I clicked on B, but it turns out I clicked right next to me or something. And, uh, gobble With the power to call in the A-10 Warthog, it can be the most gratifying class in the whole game. Oh, perfect. Yo, and there it comes, there it comes. That should get people. <laughs> Baby. Absolutely. They got lit up. Yes, I got a kill with it, finally. Well, I got four with that run. In case you don't know what the A-10 is, it's a flying Gatling gun made by a washing machine company that specializes in turning bad guys into spaghetti and American soldiers into insurance claims. Oh boy, I sure am excited to see my family again. The gun that the A-10 is built around has so much recoil that if it fires for too long, the plane will fall out of the sky due to lack of lift. <laughs> Wait, what? This is actually crazy. But with this incredible power of an A-10 or an Apache or heavy artillery, there is tremendous pressure to use it effectively, because if you don't, your whole team will notice. Kill, not confirmed. Cringe, activated. Cringe. Cringe. So it's a delicate balance of calling it in close enough to objectives to maximize casualties, but not so close that those casualties are your own teammates. Great. 45, baby! 45 <laughs> caliber, that's all I need. Hey, oh, nice gun I'll run. You almost objective. got me, friendly fire. Almost, keyword. That's why the commander slot is so often empty, because most players don't want that kind of pressure weighing on their every click. I'm gonna call an artillery, by the way. I'm swapping to explosive artillery. Oh, get inside well. oh, right fucking flare? now. Get inside, get inside. <laughs> I misclicked. Please do not stay outside. No! If you want all the importance but none of the responsibility, play Observer, who is just rifleman with radio. Literally all you do is stand next to the commander to call in his orders. It's so simple, it's almost confusing. What's the button? Oh, uh, you don't. You literally stand next to me. That's <laughs> okay, it. Okay, <laughs> That's okay. all you do. You are needed. Good job. You you did it. Great. Congratulations. Great. That's Great. all. I'm gone. Advisor gets to run bougie exotic shit like the Devore, but I don't really fuck with the fancy pants guns because Breacher, Marksman, and Gunner offer way more dumb Mass possibilities. Man, be advised. Oh, I'm not suppressed MG3. Mickey, I'm a Mickey, madman. Somebody and see. stop me. Sandstorm feels like the only game in existence that understands the range of shotguns. I believe. 
Tango. Ouch. Uh, and that makes Breacher absolutely god tier. Any class that lets me use the KS-23 is bonafide base. I got your picture. On, I'm coming with you. Your farts are on the same yeah. level as a burning hit of tires. Oh my yeah, god, I'm nuts. I'm nuts. Four gauge is absolutely bottom. bonkers lunacy <laughs> nuts. It is a six gauge shotgun. What Europeans would call a four gauge. What the hell is even that? To all my international viewers, the lower the number, the scarier. And a standard 12 gauge is already a colossal caliber. I was driving through upstate New York and I saw a Tesla with the license plate, I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a preemptive strike on who are you? I don't know, but that license plate made me laugh so hard I walked up to his window and put a 12 gauge slug in his chest. <laughs> And we're going from that to 10 gauge, to 8 gauge, to 6 gauge. Oh, God. I feel equally sorry for both your target and your shoulder. Hey, Hello, housekeeping. Hey. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up, housekeeping. <sighs> Got him. Got him. A 4 gauge indoors. Actually, a 4 gauge anywhere. Terrifying. Badger, what you said to me was not very nice. Here. I don't know what to do. Hear it again. The KS-23 is what happened when the Soviets saw an anti-aircraft gun and thought, nah. It should be shoulder fire. Are we even in Ouch. there yet? And that's what it is. You are carrying a 23 millimeter discarded anti-aircraft gun barrel. Any class that lets me shoot that, sign me the fuck up. Hello. There's oh. I can't see. Ooh, that range is nutty. That range is insane. Ugh. Give up now. Got Give up him. now. Right in the chest. I cleared it. Got him. I'm nuts. <laughs> Oh, I'm nuts. Four gauge. Oh, it's nuts. It's so nuts. You guys know I have a habit of using shotguns as sniper rifles and sniper rifles as shotguns, and the marksman class is no exception. I, too, use a fucking sniper rifle for CQC. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's long range, short range, small map, big map. Every situation I see is a nail, and the M82 I'm holding is a hammer. Hey, hey, stop that. <laughs> Oh, why don't Shit, you get okay. back outside, buddy? You chose the wrong alleyway, boys. He, he dropped a couple notches after that. Oh my oh, god, like a freight train. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm that time. Full, like, range, too. I penetrated the bars and killed that guy. Badger genuinely surprised when his anti-material rifle goes through material. <laughs> <laughs> Truly one of the highlights of Insurgency Sandstorm. I cannot get enough of this thing. That thunderous crack of a 50 BMG every time you pull the trigger makes it feel like you're punching a hole in the universe. Even watching this footage does not do the feeling justice. Oh, the cover's not gonna save you, big boy. Here, I'll find the dude on C. Just give me a second. Oh. Oh, I found that. Got him! Oh! Yep, you're right. I got you, I got you. If Breacher isn't dumb enough for you, and Marksman isn't dumb enough for you, Gunner has to be dumb enough for you. Because if you're playing it right, you're grabbing either an MG3 or an M240B, which according to Marine Corps Manual, stands for Bingus, by the way. You are never getting off the ground, you are never taking off your bipod, and you are never letting go of the trick. That's how you play Gunner. That feel went MG3. Definitely got a couple there. Super fun. Got him. This is the pace that I'm comfortable moving while using an M240 oh, Bing. Very dead. <laughs> very dead. Anymore. Nope. That's yeah, just okay. not gonna happen. Not when I'm ungovernable. Yeah, there we go. Hello, sir. Peek in corners as a legless noodle. Oh, I may be strafing the building that we're going into. Oh, Damn, that dude is just floating. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, that guy wanted to die so badly, he was levitating towards the A-10 gun run. Once you pick the class, customization comes next, and you are only limited by supply points. It's time to com com compromise, because if you want this, you can't have that. You want a fancy-ass primary with fancy-ass attachments, then you can't have extra ammo and you can't have armor. Oh, I look Jesus, like a fucking man. optometrist Shoot. right now. What yeah. is this? You want extra armor and extra ammo? Then you're gonna have to settle for a bare-bones primary. <laughs> Weight is also a thing. Like, if you pack on a ton of gear, your character's sprint and ADS time really sucks, but you'll catch on in five minutes. <laughs> it's all trade-offs, and you can get crazy creative with it. A favorite of mine is stripping away everything but a deagle, all the way down to 9% weight, so I can run around like a moron at the speed of Sound blasting 50 Action Express. Yeah. How is that possible, chat? How is that possible? I don't like that one, man. Oh, deagled. Fuck Still yeah. Is. Yeah, double deagled. <laughs> I'm just executed. A white man. 
Oh, I'm nuts. <laughs> oh my god, I'm cracked. <laughs> oh, one zap. Nice to meet you. But it's even nicer to meet me. Any, uh, any, any bad guys in the vicinity? I can't. Wait, Sheba or a clown? I said if you look like Shigo or a clown, hit me up. Oh, my B. I'm just nuts. Just just spray around the corner with a deagle and kill two people. Yet another reason why I love this game. Every weapon is deadly enough that you can get away with some of the dumbest loadouts as long as your tactics are equally dumb. Even the classics are available, like the 32 ACP well rod, which is basically a bolt action pistol. I want the well Between rod the killed. Teeth. Give me the well rod kill. <laughs> oh, God. The, the amount of shit you can put on these classics is definitely sacrilegious, but sometimes you just gotta slap a loudener on your Garand and air out the whole prison. The Garand with the loudener really is the best. <laughs> what? The, the Garand with the, the loudener. loudener. Yo, I got it's it a white it out, too. but it looks I got like it lighted <laughs> out with tracers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Pop Smoke just kill Clue? I'm so confused. Tell me the name of your god. Bold of you to assume that I have one. Are you holding a magnet to the mushroom's head? Tell me the name of god, you fungal piece of shit. It'd be cooler if god was like a Funko Pop or something. That is the- <laughs> Damn! That, that is how mad Heavenly was. Heavenly was so mad, he put a chair through a plate glass window. <laughs> Look at this, dog. Oh my god, Heavenly's I'm mad. I'm pretty sure that was the most sacrilegious <laughs> shit I've ever heard in my life. Holy- I'm the one Hey, that. Jesus. <laughs> my bullets won't even go through that glass, and Heavenly got a chair through it. God as a fuck <laughs> <laughs> that is actually cursed. I'm not a cyber psycho. I can't. I can't. I, someone help. Call, call somebody. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Oh, double kill with the Garand, baby, on the ping. Like, at the same time. Oh, lit up. Lit up. With the Loudner inside the crate. Oh, God. The Loudner. Look at it. It's a Loudner. It's not a suppressor. It only makes my shit louder. <laughs> Wait, scream like that again? You sound like the FNAF. Yo, one. that was <laughs> like the. <laughs> We got voice actors in this call. <laughs> no matter the weapon you choose, I cannot exaggerate how much the developers nailed their weapons. The sound, the reloads, the recoil. Oh my god, the recoil is so crisp. Oh, I popped him, booger. I'd saved your fucking life. I'm so sick of every developer acting like shooting 9mm out of a Glock or 5.56 out of an M16 is an exhilarating experience with all this smoke and jitter and kick. It's not. At all. If you are holding those weapons correctly, they should barely move in your hands, and it's certainly not a jarring experience. Consuming Got him. Not gonna start a video essay here, I just want it known that their weapon design is second to none. It's not even about the realism either, it's about the touchy-feely satisfaction when you fire any of these weapons that just feels right. Oh, no RPG for you today, buddy, Dude, sorry. I Getting pixel peek in this game is just the most Oh man, triple kill, game. baby. This satisfaction extends to their sound design as a whole. It is so incredibly tight. Tight, 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 yeah! Firing a Panzerfaust, plowing somebody over with a Toyota, or putting a 50 BMG through an engine block, their attention to detail with every single sound is incredible. Oh, what? <laughs> Got him! What? Did Literally, I just hear someone scream, I love Ray Liotta, and blow up the technical? No, he said, this is my Toyota. Oh. I point blank that shit with a Panzerfaust. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got his ass. Eliminated. I call that my main menu text. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Oh, Jesus. Bro, I can't hail a cab in Detroit for shit, bro. bro I am first bullet, Toyota Tacoma be like, I ain't hear nothing. Y'all hear some second bullet, legalized nuclear bomb. Legalized nuclear bomb. Swag Messiah. But the best sound feature in the game has to be proximity voice chat. The mic spam in Sandstorm is so loud and so strange, it makes a hardcore military simulator feel like a Gmod server. I got your picture, I'm coming with you, dear Maria. I got somebody else. That. Calving B block? That's that's, that's kind of cringe. Get the fuck out of our shower. <laughs> Did I just hear? No Why can't we allowed. just share the shower? Yeah. the shit am I listening to? <laughs> the better call Saul Trap B. <laughs> so he's making oh, frog him. noises. <laughs> got him. No, I'm bad to kill a frog. Hey? That's fucking weird. <laughs> hey yo, frog, you went hard that round. Thanks. 
<laughs> You're listening to 1082 The Crunch. Real trap shit. Swouse. <laughs> Wait, what? He has my Tab G voice back and he's spamming it in game. I just heard Swouse. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Swouse. Which one? Because there ain't no one on our team. Gamers joining CTE like, oh, I don't want to impose. I'm about to impose. Im Im I'm about to. Um, uh, uh, the Industrial uh, Revolution uh, and its uh, consequences. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Are you that? Are you repairing? You are you repairing our <laughs> conversation? Speaking of the explain. Irish Republican Army, uh, so I was at work the other day <laughs> and a bump. The players are yet another reason why I love the game. Because if you're doing some dumb shit like running around prison with a 50 BMG, they'll catch on immediately and all switch to 50s. <laughs> I like. Oh my rifle, god, you go to fucking lose it. Yeah. When you are just I'm both missing close <laughs> range <laughs> with that kind of energy behind each shot. Oh my god. <laughs> I got that guy! Oh my god, I jumped out of a hole in the park. He shot me back. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry, dude. I'm gonna cry. He shot me back up where I came from, dog. That was actual return to sender. Literally two stormtroopers, you gave 50 BMGs. Oh my oh god. Shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. My man was the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> Look out. Oh my god, the hit fire. Wait, friendly, friendly, friendly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking imagine getting friendly fired with a 50 BMG. Imagine. Imagine, teammates. Sorry, Your Honor, my client pleads oopsie daisy. <laughs> oh my. I fucking lost Oh, it. he really tried to get me with an M4, you dumb piece of shit. No. A sniper more unreliable than every other fucking. <laughs> I interrupted! <laughs> I hope you now understand why Insurgency Sandstorm is the perfect blend of arcade and simulation, and why I'm so glad I haven't perished in a pipe bomb explosion so I can still play games like this. Let the record show that your video memes are making rounds in the furry community, and I love it, lol. That's because I don't want the furry community to pipe bomb my mailbox. It's a very strategic <laughs> effort. As an ambassador of the furry community. <laughs> <laughs> As, an As an ambassador of the furry community, you're on a whitelist, don't worry. A quick reminder to buy Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000 using code BADGER because it's the greatest energy drink in the universe. I see gamer stuffs in your pack, give me some of that. No, 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 stay away from me, it's mine. I use code BADGER for 10% for off. I will fucking kill you if you say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and if you buy Insurgency Sandstorm on the Epic Games Store, please use my creator code, the Russian Badger, because I get a kickback and I always do more money. 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 money, 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 money. You should not be legally allowed to commit crimes while you're listening to Leonard Skinner. <laughs> 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 you're not to commit <laughs> period. I mean, I feel really stupid. They're that illegal. I was Leonard Skinner. Yo, are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? Leonard Skinner. Leave my, my lobby. Oh, oh fuck Guys. this, bup. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> playing like three fifths of a meme, like halfway through. Don't say three fifths. I mean, <laughs> 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 and that's about it, dog. That is all that I have to say about Insurgency Sandstorm. I did not realize that I still had spaghetti sauce on my lips when I started making this video. It's not mom's spaghetti, it's my spaghetti. And it's the only thing that I can taste after having a certain sickness that I won't mention because I'll get demonetized for it. I'm healthier now, I'm over it, but the only thing that I can taste is like chunks of beef and it's really fucking weird. Once again, thank you so much for watching my video and be sure to tune in next time when I either play Modern Warfare 2 or War Thunder, I haven't decided yet. What if I just fucking blew your mind and played like Devil May Cry 5 or something you would never think I'd ever play in a million years? I'm not gonna do that shit, but I could.